If you're often soldering PCBs, possibly dual-sided, in particular the back side of the PCB, and using a lot of um, typically small components, we have a tool to help you doing that. It could also be if you um, do manual pick and place of components. What we find is that it can be really difficult um, or it's really frustrating when you are placing all your 100 nanofarad caps and then you forgot two uh, and then you need to find the caps again from your stock and so on. We made a tool that will group all your components together and show you graphically where to place them. So um, to use it we will open uh, an Eagle board file. Uh, so it's based on Eagle, the CAD application for making PCBs, uh, which are quite popular with open source uh, folks and communities around the world. And uh, it will take this XML file in, analyze, and um, I'll just show you. So um, uh, what I'm taking here is uh, one of our PCBs from Skahoy, um, which is a um, a board with uh, some uh, buttons. This is designed uh, for uh, push buttons like this with LEDs. And uh, as you can see, there are a, a few chips as well as some resistors on this board. So it's kind of simple. But um, it looks like this when you, uh, you choose the file, um, the board file, submit. And what it gives you is now two things. First of all, it gives you for the component placement a top view of the board where you can uh, see in this case the bottoms and the bottom view. And the bottom view is cool because in Eagle you only see the PCB from the top. So if you pick a component that you want to, to place then uh, uh, you have to reverse the board inside your head to find the location on the PCB uh, otherwise. But here you see the bottom so when you turn the, the PCB around then uh, it has the right orientation and everything. So um, another cool thing is you click, in this case I click a resistor which is uh, 270 um, ohms and you see all 16 of that resistor highlighted on the PCB. So now you know everywhere you need to place a 270 ohms resistor. Let's click the 100 nanofarad capacitor and the same thing. You see the same capacitor uh, a number of places and it's easy for you to, uh, to find out. Do you want to know how many? Well, if you look up here, you can see that the highlighted row here, C1, C2, C5, 6, 7 and 8 is 100 nanofarad 0603 capacitor. Okay. And uh, you can also click up here if you want. So for instance, just before, I click the resistors and you can see this line in the bottom, uh, 16 resistors, this type and this uh, package size, and it's gray. It means that I did mount it already. So just notice what happens when I then click the 22 microfarad, for instance. That's only one of these and now it's highlighted up here at C4. But now you can see this row of capacitors is gray. This is gray because I already mounted them. So let's say that I want to go the other way around. I want to pick this chip. I have this chip. Where is it? I click it and now this chip is highlighted. So I go down and I see the chip is highlighted and used here. And then I can click this one. This chip is sitting over here and I can mount those two. So not only does it show you where the components are found on both the top and the bottom surface oriented the right way, it also will keep track of what you have already gone through and mounted. Plus it will sort uh, typically all the capacitors uh, in one group, all the ICs in one group, all the resistors in one group, etc. So it's a really useful tool. What it also states if you read all the fine print in the top of the page up here is that this bomb list is kind of compatible with the format that Seed Studio usually uses if you want to use their PCBA service. So for their service, a PCBA means it's not just a printed circuit board you get, you also get assembly of that and you need to choose some components from their open parts list. But um, if you go to the bottom of a PCB ordering form like this, you see here PCB assembly 
And um, the, the form factor of this, the bomb list that I just showed you here, is the form factor that Seed Studio likes. They want first, and this is where the X's come into play, the X's has to be substituted with the component uh, number from Seed Studio's open parts list. But um, then the next um, number in the comma separated list is the number of those components and then uh, which uh, names they have on your PCB. And then the fourth uh, parameter in the list is actually not official with uh, Seed Studio. Uh, they don't specify it. I don't even know if it's compatible with them, if you could upload this list and get away with it. But I put in the description of the component. Uh, but you may have to remove it. So that was the Eagle Bomb and Soldering Guide, which is a tool we use internally at Skahoy uh, when we solder PCBs. Uh, to us it's really ho useful, hopefully it's good for you too. We like to share the tools and technologies we have, just like all our PCB designs and our libraries for Arduino um, compatible microprocessors. So um, it's a big honor to uh, serve you with some of the stuff that we make for internal use in this way. Have fun with it. <laughs>